Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while, but we are back with another bag review. You're probably gonna see me in this outfit for like the next five videos because I'm about to like just bang out a ton of bag reviews because it's been a while and I have been purchasing. So, um, but if you're new here, my name is Stephanie. I post about pretty much anything that's on my mind or whatever's going on in my life, whatever I'm buying or traveling to or whatever like that. And so if you're into that, like and subscribe and let's get into the video. Alrighty, so for today's bag, I've actually had her for a while, but um, wanted to start with her because she's one of my favorites. But today we have the Bottega Veneta Padded Cassette in Baby Blue. This bag was quite a hot commodity when it came out. I've seen it on so many influencers. Jacob Lordy has a, a black one, I think. Like, I see it all over New York as well. Um, but I never saw it in this color. And if you know me, I am a blue gal. I love blue bags. I love anything baby blue, blue related, anything like that. Um, so when I saw this, I had to get it. There's, there is a padded version and a non-padded version. Um, I preferred the padded version because I saw it in this color, um, but I would consider getting a non-padded one because this is a little thick, as you can see. The unpadded version came out in autumn 2019, and then the padded version came out in autumn winter 2019. Um, so I personally prefer the padded version. It's definitely a little bit bulkier, um, but the look comes through so much better in my opinion, and it just looks, and the inter, inter, interrochato, interrochato, however you say it, um, leather looks so good, um, especially in this color. So I purchased this bag on the Real Real for $2,927.64 after tax. Um, she's one of my priciest bags to date, and that was with an additional 20% off. Um, before tax, it was $2,700, and the cassette retails for $3,500 in store. And the reason I went to the Real Real instead of in store is because I really wanted this color. Um, I had been perusing around for this bag, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, and I really wanted this color, which is why we went there. Definitely shaved off some dollars by going there, but still a pricey bag. There have been some reports of fake bags on the Real Real, even though they authenticate and they, they like have their little guarantee, their value, but there are some rumors floating around about fake bags, so it worries me a little bit. Um, and I do want to get this clean at some point. As you can see, there are some marks on it. Though these were here when I got the bag. So like I want to go and get it cleaned and I would like to take it to Bottega and have them like clean it But I'm not sure if they have that service um, Another bag that you'll see I'm going to do a review on is the like uh, cassette or the Bucket version of the cassette bag um, that I bought directly from Bottega. So we'll see the leather is very soft and supple um, but also very susceptible to stains like I showed you. The strap length uh, is, a, it's pretty long on me when you put it at the like full height, um, but obviously I've taken it in to the, the, the shortest one, which me, makes it sit pretty well on me. Um, it's come, kind of comes up to my hip, so it's right at my hip length and I can kind of use it um, easy access and rest my hand on it when I'm happy like that or just like this. In terms of what can fit inside of it, um, let me see, where is my cellular device? <laughs> in terms of what can fit inside it, um, I have my daily driver right here, so I'm gonna take some things out of there and see what can fit in there. Um, so my phone definitely fits. Um, wallet, or wallet, not wallet on chain. <laughs> what is this called? What is this called? Card holder. In there and you can already see it's getting a little tight in there because it's already all of the kind of stuff in there um, I have my keys slides in here and if you notice like a, a, on those shots that I was showing before there's like this back pocket where it actually zippers and then even behind there there's another section I don't know if it's really usable but what I usually do when I'm carrying this bag is I have my basics um, like my keys, my wallet, um, my phone. Let's see, what else do we have? AirPods fits in there. Um, that for your glasses. Let's see. Hand sanitizer. It's already getting a little bulky in here. And then sunglasses. So I, that's probably the max that I would put in there. Um, it's, you see it's already 
like bulking out a little bit more um, at the bottom edges. So I wouldn't put too much in here. Plus it's actually relatively heavy with um, all of this stuff in there, but still a beautiful bag and I probably wouldn't use it. I probably wouldn't stuff too much into there. Um, and it still fits a good amount. It still fits your basics, the things that you need. Um, I see most of the people walking around town with this, like where they're going shopping and they don't need too much or moms just kind of like picking their kids up. So I don't think you're, it's a bag that you're going to fit too, too much in, but it's still a really nice bag, beautiful leather, very supple, very soft. Um, and just something that some people, you know, I remember when this was the bag and some people really hated it. I really loved it, so I had to get in this color. Now, how, how I would style this, so I'd probably keep it pretty simple with a white shirt and jeans. I have to admit, I am not a style connoisseur, so I wouldn't expect anything too um, crazy for me, but I wanted to stick with the blues and kind of keeping it all jeans or putting in some black and having it the pop of color. But there are a lot of different ways that you can style this bag. It makes it really easy with the blue colors. And you can also like, maybe it's not a spring bag or oh, maybe it can be a winter bag or it can be a spring bag. But you know, you have options on how you can wear it and where you want to go out. for watching um i have a couple more videos coming your way if you have any questions comments concerns anything else you want to see from me feel free to drop it down low in the comment box i love reading your comments it's always so much fun whether there's two or three of them <laughs> it's just exciting for me but um don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on instagram at where's we woo and i'll talk to you guys later